So, Adam, thank you for being on the show and talking about everything that's new and how WaveForward uh, is is integrating or it's participating in this new endeavor with uh, Crunchyroll. So, uh, can you take me about how the conversation started or, or how long ago? What's been going down? Yeah, I mean, we've been uh, uh, huge fans of Crunchyroll for a long time. A lot of way forward games are either based on anime or kind of have anime, you know, aesthetics and stylings. And of course, everybody, all of our directors at WayForward are huge fans, you know, subscribers of Crunchyroll. And I think we had worked with them a few times in the past in terms of just like cross marketing promotion. I remember they they ran a Shantae contest for us way back when, when we were doing a Kickstarter. So uh, there's a lot of kind of like overlap in terms of uh, audience, I think and sensibilities and so um we were already you know just talking to them about things in general and and the idea of of the crunchy roll game vault came up and it seemed like a perfect fit for uh you know collaborating with them again because our games are so anime uh you know driven in terms of the aesthetics and the personality and also very silly in terms of the tone very vo driven we use a lot of like anime voice actors in it and uh we were just so excited that we were able to make river city girls uh one of the the launch products of that service with them that's pretty cool i've been playing it okay i've been playing both river city girls and river city girls 2 just to see what's up between them i, I, I bought them this weekend and I, i've been having a lot, a lot of fun with them so it's beat them up and what's not to love about that uh, but obviously you, you guys have like mastered it got to the point where um in this first game which is the one that's coming out on the vault uh is is the one that lets you like develop your character as you use them uh each one in particular are those the only two characters that are going to be available for this it, let, let me rephrase that are, are you actually porting the the game that came out in 2019 or did you have to work around it and and, and like make it functional uh for uh ios and android so it's a little bit of both it's it is the full game so everything that was in the original uh river city girls one is in here and to answer okay. your earlier question yeah you've got the two playable characters masako and kyoki you start with and then you can unlock some additional characters as well so there's more than just the two of them but uh yeah it's it, it the things that we adjusted though is it had never been um you know done dedicated as a touchscreen game and as a mobile game so a lot of development went there uh where we're taking it from Um, you know playstation uh and nintendo switch and xbox controllers to something that works with uh with touch screen so that took a lot of the effort not just in terms of like how you're impl implementing it uh for the touch screen but also how the ui looks and and what the interface looks and knowing that a celebrity is going to be looking at it on a screen or an ipad rather than on a you know big tv so lots of little adjustments in regard to that um but yeah otherwise it's 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 pretty much the the big first game and it really made a lot of sense to start with this one because this is the beginning of the story and so you know as much of a we've had great success with river city girls one two and zero we have three games on the market so far um they're all a continuous story so we wanted to start at the beginning and uh and introduce all of the the crunchyroll subscribers to uh to that game experience and that that story and everything and hopefully hopefully they they, they dig it and, and you know become fans of the series Well, I can tell you that it's uh, amazing and it's really fun since the, since the, the get-go immediately. As you start playing, it, it's extremely fun and and you'll, you'll catch it real quick. What's interesting is as you move on, you start to um, unlock uh, different abilities. And I wouldn't say abilities, I would say more combos and stuff that you would normally think that you would start with but this is the way that they gave you they gave you through the tutorial process which was great for me uh obviously when you start this game so uh, as as you look forward uh, into uh, you're presenting this to them uh, i would love to know Uh, because obviously the vault is new to everyone so we we need to get used to how we're going to use it is this something that will instantly play uh through the app or or will you have to download the the game per se and then uh log in with crunchyroll so how does that work um so i i 
I don't know the exact processes, but yeah, it's, it's essentially an app that you are accessing via Crunchyroll and okay. Crunchyroll Game Vault. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of the what you mentioned before about like the evolution of the character, that was one of the tricky things about this game because there's a lot of brawlers. We've worked on a lot of brawlers, but most of them are pretty straightforward and linear. The thing with the River City games is they've always been... Uh, basically an RPG and a Metroidvania, they've got a little bit of everything in there. So you're evolving your character with EXP. You're also free to go wherever you want. Um, it's not a linear experience. So there was like a huge amount of, of effort to get the first one off the ground when we first worked on that. Um, but what's nice about it is it then now we've got this nice huge city to play in. And I think what works, especially in the context of it now being a mobile game, is we always wanted to make it so that it just kept track of your progress as you go. So there's not manual saving. Every time you come in from a, a, a door, basically, it will, you know, if you die, it will only kick you back like one room. You never lose tons of progress. Nice. So it's really nice. perfect for, you know, you can sit down and you can play it for an hour at a time, or you can sit down and play it for five minutes at a time. And either one, you're going to have a good experience and make progress. And you have to uh, develop each character individually. So in other words, but you can use them wherever your progress is. So in other words, I can start uh, a level one character, let's say in in the fifth level or something like that. I might get my butt whooped, but <laughs> but reality is that you have to develop each character so you can uh, enjoy this game, which I, I am actually. Uh, I started this morning River City Girls 2. Uh, it, 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 you can see how it has evolved. You guys have been in business for 33 years. You've worked on so many games and people don't know this. This is not your first rodeo in iOS and Android. You've done this a couple of times now. And uh, so in other words, when, when you, you're handed down with this opportunity to you is like, all right, all right, we got this. I was like, we got this. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it work. Uh, how uh, confident do you feel that this will help uh, your, your uh, let's say, River City Girls push forward into a new market uh, known by new people and enjoyed by hopefully millions around the world? Yeah, it really is like a perfect opportunity for us for a number of reasons. One, you know, this is now one of our more established brands along with Shantae. So we've got three River City games already, um, but none of them mobile. So this was a great opportunity for us to put it on mobile, figure it out with touchscreen and, you know, hit a whole new market. And then with the Crunchyroll connection, again, it's, you know, it's not literally anime because it's it's a video game, but sure. it has a lot of anime aesthetics. We have full anime cutscenes. We have yeah. motion graphics like manga style cutscenes similar to like Fully Cooly. Like I said, we use a lot of the same voice actors. So I think connecting to the Crunchyroll fan base is going to be fantastic for this. And one of the really cool things that we got to add as well is uh, uh, their mascot, Crunchyroll Hime, actually appears as a cameo in the game. And so nice. that was really cool. You know, she is so synonymous with the brand. Everywhere you see anything Crunchyroll, you see her. So it was really cool to literally bring her into River City and have her hanging out with our characters. Characters. You're, you're gonna have to make this like uh, uh, cross gen and stuff like that, so I can move my imports uh, from side to side. I I'm extremely happy happy for people to get to play this game. It really uh, looks pretty amazing, you know. Like um, to be honest with you, I hadn't played it or uh, seen it up to when the information came up to me, and when I double click on that trailer, and I was like. Yo, where, where, where was I? Where, where, why did I miss this? And when you put it aside uh, other beat-em-ups, you go like, hey, you know what? So there's nothing to envy from anyone. Also, this runs really smoothly. The characters, you'll fall in love with them immediately. Uh, the, the two girls, you know... <laughs> <laughs> uh, they have their own thing, you know, and and, uh, and the funny thing about it, everything that uh, at least in the in the first one, uh, you start up in 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 the high school, man, and everything about and you will resonate with what's going down with them and how they speak with everybody else. If you were talking about the the if we're talking about the story. Uh, how how do you cross over between everything that you've done so far and and know that will people get hooked from one side to the other? Yeah, I mean, story is uh, really important, I think, in a lot of way forward games. And also in River City Girls, I feel like that's 
kind of us having learned how to do it better and better over the course of many games. And, you know, some of the stuff we've learned over time are uh, comedy is very easy for people to connect with. So, you know, we will sometimes do like very serious or dramatic games, but that takes a lot of effort and a lot of like very careful balancing. If you just have immediately funny, charming characters, and I think that's also very, you know, very anime is just like very funny, kind of over the top extreme personalities. I think that's easy to get people to connect with them and care about about those characters and then one of the other things is there's a big focus on what we call like passive vo so in like older games you know uh, you would have basically like just running through the gameplay and it's all very quiet and then you would have a cutscene where you chat and there's like nothing in between the two with mm -hmm. this game and a lot of our games leading up to this we started having vo that happens while you're playing the game and so i think that became a real major component of the personality of the game you know as the girls are fighting they're bantering back and forth or as they're fighting a boss they're kind of you know talking smack back and forth with the boss like it really helps make it feel like a, a again like more like a cartoon or anime experience because you're just immersed the whole time rather than just playing like a silent game for large chunks now obviously we're talking we're speaking in english right but uh, this is going to a spanish uh, speaking audience so i have to ask like is there going to be uh any translation to spanish there is Yeah, there is. And so with all of our games, including uh, River City Girls, you know, we always do e-figs, uh, English, French, Italian, German, Spanish. In terms of the audio, that's where it's a little bit trickier because there's so much production time. So normally with our games, we'll have English audio um, uh, that starts the process, sometimes Japanese audio. In the case of River City Girls 2, we had a Japanese audio, but there wasn't in River City Girls 1. Um, but yeah, we always try and cover at minimum, we try and cover like a very wide audience in terms of uh, of um, the, the uh, text translations and subtitles so that everybody can enjoy all the jokes and humor and all the storylines. Sure thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I scoped it out in River City Girls 1. Uh, it was only text. That's why I was asking. I was wondering if VO may have been uh, included in this one. But uh, obviously, anyone that's going to play it is going to be able to understand it because the configure is not only the, the captions for the story, it's also the configuration for the uh, er, er, all the settings and everything that you do inside of the game are also it's definitely in It's definitely something we want to try and move towards as we keep growing as a publisher um it's just it's a lot of effort but yeah we have done a few before we had a batman game that was localized vo and basically everything our stick our silent hill game as well but um yeah most of our stuff since we're still a pretty small indie developer usually we just take care of the english and then if we have a partner such as in japan then they'll take care of the japanese but yeah i would love to see more full vo in our game because ultimately that's just going to play you know even funnier and more impressive for all audiences a question of ignorance, a River City Girls is uh, your property or is this a license? So it's a it's a license. It, it's a it's kind of halfway in between. So it's um, it was created way back when. It's called Kunio Kun, mm -hmm. and uh, and it in Japan they've had over 50 games. So it's been going for I think almost 40 years. It was repurchased. Uh, maybe about 10 years ago by Arc System Works in Japan. And so they own the brand and we work with them. However, River City Girls is like our spin on it. So when we have all the characters in it, every single time we're giving them a brand new look, brand new personality, new costume, casting them for the VO, figuring out their personality. So it's almost kind of, I believe in Japan, they call it like, Uh, Kunio Kun Gaiden, like it's a, like a side story thing. So we don't technically own it, but we're work very closely with Arc System Works, uh, and they're also our publisher in Japan and Asia on on all the the versions of the game. They've been fantastic to work with. So that's pretty cool because you've managed so many IPs. Like I, I was looking at the list and I was going, Jesus, these guys have to work with so much. So uh, looking forward uh, to Crunchyroll's vault, um, do you see more games coming in? Uh, is this like the new thing for you guys? Oh, we would love to work with them more. Yeah, I mean, and we, you know, we're all constantly talking about new possibilities. This this one seemed like a total slam dunk as a first game, and we were so happy to be in the first wave of the vault. And uh, you know, like all things, it's going to depend on the fan base. If people really play this and they like it and they like all the games in the vault, then you know it's going to be a success, and we can do more of these with Crunchyroll. One more question: Is is this like a online 
only game or, so, or once you download it into your phone, let's say I'm going on a plane, I can play it in uh, airplane mode. I believe it's a download um, once you download it. I, I, I don't know the exact specifics on that, but my, my understanding is that via Crunchyroll, you basically get access to download it. Um, I'm not 100% on that though. All right, all right. So the prob uh, the, for the purpose of this interview, it, it hasn't been launched yet, but at this moment, it has been launched. So I guess I'm going to try it out now. Everyone can just check it out and find <laughs> out exactly, yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, congratulations. I'm really happy that you were uh, part of the first wave. I, um, I'm extremely hyped to play everything on it. So I'm going to stop on my PC so I can try it out on the Crunchyroll app and, and, and enjoy it. So I appreciate your time adam and and i hope to talk to you soon again yeah thank you so much for having us and i i hope people really dig it i hope we hit an all new audience with this game that we didn't you know weren't even aware of the game before and i could not think of a better partner for this version of the game than crunchyroll yeah yeah let's go mm -hmm.